How can you speed up your computer in just 10 minutes? Today, I'm sharing some super useful tips. Stick around till the end to say goodbye to your laggy PC. Hey, Arthur here, welcome to Mobile Vlog. And step one is updating your operating system and drivers. Yeah, I know it sounds super basic and even a little boring, but trust me, it's crucial. You want to make sure your computer is running the latest software free of bugs and fully optimized for compatibility. If you are on Windows, here's how you check for updates. Click the start menu and go go to settings, navigate to update and security, updates are available, follow the on-screen instructions to install them. Before you start, save all your important files because your computer will likely to restart and you don't want to risk losing anything unsaved. For macOS users, click the Apple logo in the top left corner, go to system preferences and then software update. macOS usually handles driver updates automatically, so that's one less thing to worry about. Now for Windows driver updates, open device manager, find the device you want to update, like your graphics card, right click it, select update driver and choose search automatically for drivers. Follow the instructions that pop up. This whole process can take a while, anywhere from 15 minutes to over an hour, depending on how many updates are available and how fast your computer is. During the installation, your computer might restart a few times. Good hack, start this step at night so it's ready to roll by morning. Step two, optimize your graphics settings in your video editor. This is like unlocking your superpowers for better visuals and smoother performance in video editing, gaming, and other graphics heavy apps. By tweaking these settings, you are leveling up as a creator, trust me. First up, enable hardware acceleration. This setting lets your GPU, graphics processing unit, handle tasks that would otherwise bog down your CPU, speeding up video editing like a charm. Here's how to do it in Mobile Video Editor. Go to Settings, General, find the acceleration section and make sure it's enabled. This ensures your video editor takes full advantage of your GPU, boosting performance and cutting down on lag. Next, adjust your project resolution. If you're editing a 1080p full HD video, set the project resolution to 1080p too. For faster editing, you can temporarily lower the preview quality or resolution. This makes things way snappier. Then switch back to high quality before exporting your masterpiece. Working with massive 4K or higher resolution files, use proxy files, smaller, lightweight versions of your videos that are easier for the software to process. Movavi Video Editor has built-in proxy tools, but if you're using a program without this feature, you can create proxy files manually using Movavi Video Converter. Simply swap them back to the original files for the final render. Here's a pro tip. Close all unnecessary apps while editing. Video editors eat up a ton of system resources, so free up that RAM for smoother performance. And hey, speaking of resource-friendly software, Movavi Video Editor is perfect for anyone, even if your computer is old enough to remember dial-up internet. Whether you're editing a TikTok, a party recap, or a quick ad for a flower shop, Movavi makes it. If you want the ultimate toolkit for creating videos and photos, check out Movavi Unlimited. It's got everything you need to create stunning content, even on a mid-range computer. The package includes access to over 6,000 effects and tools, all wrapped in an easy-to-use interface. Here's what you get. AI-powered video creation tools, quick photo enhancements like background changes and object removal, screen recording for webinars, lessons, or online meetings, super fast video, audio, and image conversion, one-click creative effects to spice up your videos, and right now there is an 80% discount. So why not turn your creative ideas into reality today? Not sure if it's the right fit? No problem. Download Mobile video editor for free, no time limits, and see if it works for you. All the details are in the description. Step three, ditch unnecessary apps, at least from running in the background. Here's the thing, the more apps quietly chugging along in the background, the fewer resources are left for your video editing or other tasks. I've seen setups where unnecessary apps were eating up 30% of the RAM. To fix this, on Windows, open the task manager, control shift escape. Go to the startup tab and disable any program you don't need launching automatically. On macOS, head to System Preferences, Users and Groups, Login Items, and remove anything you don't need at startup. Your computer will thank you for faster performance. Step four, lock down app access to your private data. Yeah, companies spy on us, nothing new there. But what you might not realize is how much of your computer's resources, internet bandwidth, processing power, etc. they are burning while doing it. Here's what to do. Go to your system's privacy settings. On 
Windows, Settings, Privacy and Security, App Permissions, On Mac OS, System Preferences, Privacy and Security. Revoke access to anything you don't absolutely need. Most apps don't need access to your location, microphone or camera to function, so cut them off. This not only protects your privacy, but also gives your computer a little more breathing room. Step five, free up disk space. It's not just about making room for new files, though that's a bonus. The real trick is that the more space available on your main drive, the faster your computer runs. To get started, delete all files, programs, and downloads you don't need. Use the built-in tools to clean up your drive. On Windows, search for disk cleanup or open storage settings for a more modern cleanup tool. On macOS, open disk utility using Spotlight Search, Command plus space, then type disk utility. Select your disk, like Macintosh HD, in the sidebar. Click first aid in the top menu and follow the instructions to fix errors and free up space. This step not only frees up storage, but also gives your system a noticeable speed boost. It's like hitting the refresh button on your computer's performance. Step six, clear out temporary files. These leftover bits from running programs and unsaved file versions are like digital dust. They pile up and slow down your computer. Computer. Time to sweep them away. Step seven, tweak your power settings. Every computer has a high performance power option and this is your go-to setting for faster video editing. Sure, if you're not on a laptop, your battery will drain quicker, but the boost in speed and responsiveness is totally worth it, especially if you're focused on performance over portability. On Windows, open the control panel and go to power options. Select change plan settings next to your current plan. Click Change Advanced Power Settings, then choose High Performance from the drop down menu. Just display off times and sleep mode settings to fit your preferences. While macOS doesn't have a specific high performance option, you can still optimize. Turn off automatic brightness, adjustment and system preferences, displays for consistent screen performance, minimize desktop clutter by organizing files into folders. Each icon on the desktop is treated like a separate active window, which can slow things down. Review startup apps, go to system preferences, users and groups, login items, remove apps you don't need to launch every time you log in. And with these seven steps, your computer should now be running smoother and faster than ever. Ready to put that power to good use? Download Mobile Video Editor for free and start creating amazing videos today. Let me know in the comments if these tips help speed up your workflow. It's always great to hear your stories. See you in the next Mobile vlog for more practical and fun tips.